sewer technology, but uh, I don't think the audience knows you're still active in business technology as well, in the storage space and so forth. What are sure. you doing there? Okay, yes. Um, you know, these machines are called the post-PC era. Our, we went past the, the computer, we got rid of thinking about files and storage structures, and we just went to you run programs and they kind of do everything for you. Somebody else has thought out all your problems. We're in the post-PC era, but we still have our computers. We still have our PCs. Where is it? Not in here necessarily. It's out in the data center. All the racks and racks of servers and the hard disks for storage, they're doing the computing, telling our devices what to show, what to display to us. That's the modern world. So I got involved with a company that was changing hard disks into the much faster, much lower energy, the, the high performance NAND flash memory chips, and it's called solid state disks. But I got involved with this company because everyone was talking, solid state disk company, solid state disk company. There were 50 of them in the world. I don't like to be like everyone else. I like to find people that think differently like I used to. Computer architecture. This company said, we're gonna put the chips on a board, Fusion IO was the name of the company. Plug it right into the server. My gosh, you've got the fewest parts involved, you've got the closest connection to the brains, which means the fastest performance, and you can write software on your host computer that improves the features of it. This is what I used to do back at Apple. Like with my floppy disk, I was actually able to write host software that increased the speed and the density of the disk. So I said, this company, I want to join them, and I became a part of them, threw out some engineering ideas, and they went public, they big offering. They really changed the way data centers have thought about NAND flash um, chips for high, high speed access, low latency um, storage. And, and I'm, still, I'm still involved. That, that, that company is over, got bought by SanDisk, but now they've started a new company which is going to automate all the different, it's called primary data, and all the different places. You'll just put your storage out there, and it knows that it has assets that are, that are some in the cloud, some are in the WAN, the WAN some are in the, the, um, uh, the host computers themselves, and it will be able to automatically, through policies, transfer the data to where it's needed based on demand. So a human being won't have to sit down and say, well, I think this one is going to be um, in, in such demand. We're going to put it in some very high-speed storage, and this other one we're going to put in slower archive. And things change day to day, so it'll automate. Things will make copies of themselves. Nothing ever shuts down. It's going to be a great, great technology when it's out there for, the, for the, the big enterprises that have their operations in the data centers. And it's called primary data, and I'm with them now, too. Are they connected to primary data?